Hello gardeners, I'm potting up some of my California giant zinnias flowers for my spring garden and I thought I'll take you along the journey. The first thing I'm going to do is of course get my seedlings ready to be potted. I will use potting soil and I put them in a four inch pot. Then I remove them from my six pack, make sure the roots are loose and insert them in a hole down in, in that uh, pot where I put the potting mix. Then I tap it down very lightly and feel around all around the sides of the plant, mashing it down to make sure that we don't get any air pockets in that because that will cause the root rot. Okay, so I think I accidentally showed you this one again because my grandbaby is uh, making all kinds of noise in the background. But anyway, it won't hurt for you to watch how I mash that down very gingerly. Well, maybe you'll get tired of me doing it three times. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but it'll pass. I want to share with you yes, that I purchased funny. 30 of these four inch flower pots. Some people call them azalea pots. They're perfect for your little transplants. These will be going out in the garden in less than two months. And so there's ample enough room in there for it to have uh, new growth. I ordered these from eBay. And let me just share something with you. <laughs> Beware, it's nothing bad. A lot of the merchants on Amazon, eBay, and Greenhouse Mega Store are the same merchants. For example, I ordered this pot, this four inch pot, 30 of them for $9.99, and they came uh, Amazon Prime shipping in one day. So, it's a good thing. Just thought I'd let you know. And it's okay if you uh, reuse uh, pots like these. I bought these, I don't know what was in there, about 10 years ago. And you can see label on top of labels on them. I save them. And um, I bought 30 of these for only $9.99, and I always get three shipping. I just ordered 30 more. And what I do is when I find a, a merchant that has a uh, excellent 100% or 99.5 or more rating, I read the reviews and I buy from that merchant. And once I find a merchant that I really like, I stick with them. Okay. Bye. It's more flexible. See that? But it still will last for a good two years. And this one is not flexible at all. Let me get one. I mean, it's slightly flexible, but it won't crease or bend. So that's why I recommend that you get these. Now it's okay if you use cups, styrofoam cups, plastic cups, but I'm, I'm kind of frugal. And in my retirement, I save money wherever I can. So instead of using uh, cups that I know that I'm not gonna keep for the next year, I just go ahead and buy pots. Sanitize them with a little bleach water, stack them up and put them in my greenhouse when it's not in use. Take care. Bye. Bye. I keep saying bye. <laughs> Say bye, Marie. Bye. <laughs> but we'll come back. Okay, so we have most of them planted. Most of the zinnias planted. We've got three more to do here. And um, just want to let you know that I use rainwater that I collect to water them. And I dip it up and leave it on the windowsill so it can get cool, uh, party, uh, room temperature. And where you see more than one flower, it's okay because that's only going to go in one pot, one uh, five gallon, because these are the giant ones, giant zinnia, so we need that. And then lean it over a little bit, and we'll get them readjusted as we uh, go along. We'll prop them up with the soil. Okay. Okay, gardeners, I hope I've shown you something you can use as you're growing your seedlings. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.